Trappy just got out. I ain't have to put them on. We don't want to be back. My name is Michael Sanford. I'm the owner of Tell Call Sports Media. And this is the Big Dog Podcast. We got South Point Catholic in the building all the way from Tucson. Um, we want to go ahead and introduce those guys. But before we get started, we want to thank our corporate sponsors, WTL, Western Transport Logistics out of here at Phoenix, and Apple Activated for. Making this a bit special, making this thing possible. Trans Logistics. Western Trans has no affiliation to any high school direct. We do appreciate you for your support in the community and making Media Day very special for these teams. <laughs> Activated and our co host Will Brown for understanding community and allowing us to use his space for this unique experience. I've been on top for a while. Now it's time to ship it to the moon. Fast car, me going vroom vroom. Take it to the boom boom room. I'm a visionary. I got the new scary. Mmm. Bought a big patty with a brand new wrist set. Mmm. Um, for me, I feel like I deal pretty well. You know, everything when you 
blood and all this stuff is tired in your back. But it's just like keeping that tunnel vision and doing what you need to do, and not worrying about what people got to say, and not sure what's going on. Just, for, just focusing on you dominating and play play and dominating and be faster than what you do, whatever it takes like your work, your work ethic, or how you handle school, just being your own way and doing what you need to do, and just stay tunnel vision. Yes, sir. Elijah, why was it important for you to stay in your own backyard and go to your bed and can you grow some success there? I will say I was wearing a lot of things, and I think the thing that me and my brother talked about was that like, being with my community. Like, that's something my dad always stressed to us, and the way that we saw it was I can go to, and any of my top four, those were all same choices that you could go somewhere go. When you ask me to check the shit, you can go to the For someone like here, for I had two, in Arizona, there hasn't really, they haven't uh, wanted me to do that. So for me, it was like, well, I wanted to go one of the guys, or me, to be someone that put their hands on me and build something from the ground up. So it was really just like that, that opportunity in my hometown just to build something off of the ground there. Like, I'm not there. You feel that? You feel that? I mean, that's dope. Building off of that, pretty quickly after you committed, the Mon Williams team committed for Ole Miss and then ended up committing to Arizona. How many guys do you expect to follow with you to Arizona and uh, how do you think your commitment there will help Arizona? I think that commitment, like nationwide, just told like the groups that it's okay to stay in your home, stay in your home, tell your home back there. You don't have to go to some big name schools in North Carolina. Everyone, the NFL is going to get everyone. They don't have scouts going to get everyone. That's the job. You can get picked up from them. Like, there are people that they, they picked up from the breeze, say, for instance, um, number nine on my page, I think his name is Bud. Matt like, Judon. Matt, 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 Matt Judon. Yes, like, sir. Someone who came for one of the lower rankings, but he's one of the main top one. Yeah. He's one of the people who can talk to the bottom, come from all these places, another tiny Wilson kid from Texas Tech. Yes, sir. You know, you can go, you can go anywhere you can be. So they don't you don't gotta follow the name branch you can go build your own and help your help your city. Respect, man. We love, I love that you you know, you poured in, you stayed home, you made me happy at the career. I'm from Alabama, so I've watched a lot of guys from my hometown go to the University of Alabama Auburn make that happen. So that's pretty sweet. For you guys though, you know, you got you got number one player in the state, you got top ten player in the country. But, you know, you fell a little short last year in the playoffs, right? You, think you guys were part of that six or team for us, sophomore, you played as a freshman as well, 72. What do you add this year? How do you get over that hump? How do you guys get into the open? That's what I always say. I always say team, team for two, so I get into the open. How do you guys do that? We can try to get into the open. Well, you guys go. Well, falling short, you know, that was very hard. It was definitely, uh, it, it gave me, like, a, you know, the bitter taste of my opportunity. And, uh, I I overcame that that feeling because you know I feel like this year we have a really good chance of taking the state championship and uh, I mean it hurts me that we lost but the, the only thing we can do is look forward look towards the future and we can't be stuck in the past because we got it's not any good it's any good for us so so what so what I'm saying is that. I'm not, we're not going to look for the, the past anymore. Yeah. We're just going to keep on looking forward and we're going to keep fighting for the, for the green. Let me say that. Coach, a lot of people that live in this area, whether it be Phoenix or Chandler, don't really, you might not see a lot of the Tucson side of things in all of those schools. What about South Point Catholic and the tradition makes your football team so special? Uh, it starts with the people. You know, but, uh, our administration is. I mean, very, it's a veteran uh, administration. They've been doing this for a long, long time. Our athletic director's been there 30 plus years. Uh, our president has been there, uh, shoot, I think, I, I think Kay's been there 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, you know, so now we've got a brand new principal, uh, Artemis, that's bringing a tremendous amount of energy to our school. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, it starts with the people and uh, the families, the kids. Uh, they're what make it special. Uh, you know, you, you get different, you know, we've got, I've got kids now that I coached in 2002 and some of their kids are now coming to our kids' camps and, you know, it won't be long before they're coming through the program. And so just 
Uh, I think it's, it's the people that make it the most special. I felt like chiming on that. It's also like the mindset of people coming in. Like, like our football team, the legacy is known as being people coming in and being hard workers. Sometimes they weren't the biggest, they weren't the fastest, but it takes them hard work and people. And now we have more time than ever. Like, we need, a, we need like a hard work, like a Jackson Mind, or a Beast Boy, or a Bell and Dog. Just all them people who they're not going to talk too much, they're just going to put their head down and work the way we need to. And, and, at least as far as us making the open and all those things, it's really just us handling the business on that side. It's not really focused on anything just what we gotta do. So it's just all the great people just do what we do. Yeah, that's go ahead. Uh, you go you can go ahead. Oh, just just kinda of talking on what he was saying and talking about that culture. I mean we we uh we kinda of just stick to ourselves a little bit. You know, we don't put a whole lot out there on Twitter. We don't talk about what we do. Uh, we don't share a whole lot, but we've got a, a group of guys that have really bought into what we're doing. They really embrace, you know, for us, it's that journey. It's that, uh, you know, just from day one when we first got put on that campus and watching you grow for four years and then watching you graduate and then go on and, and become, you know, great citizens, great community leaders, yeah. uh, and then give back to your community and yeah. then become a great father, uh, become, you know, a great husband. Those are the things that we talk about. Uh, it's a... Uh, you know, like what Elijah was saying, we don't worry about our competition, we don't worry about our schedule, we don't worry about what everybody else is doing. We focus on us and becoming the best football players we can, the best people we can. Yes, sir. We preach a lot on hard work and you got guys, even though we're part of your team since their freshman year. What are some words you use to describe the sophomore team? You want me to answer that word? You want to, anyway. Hey, you, you want to do it? Yeah, I think we're going to be talking. Yeah, but I, like, you got, like, I'm at the linebacker position, and I'm looking at my D-line, you know, it, it makes me feel like, like, that's how, like, you feel comfortable about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 so it's very comfortable. You guys, you guys want to be plugs, so you can run through. Yeah. That's what I like to hear, man. Uh, so are you a sideline to sideline guy, or are you a thumper or a coverage type guy? What's up, Lombard? I like it. I like it. Like okay, man. I so like you can come and feel it. Yeah. That's what I like to hear, that yeah. First step down the hill. He, he, he hits you. You're gonna feel it. You're, okay. gonna, you're gonna know about it. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm moving for three four this year. <laughs> like I said, yeah, That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I would just say resilient and hungry, just like you said, dogs. Um, everyone like me, when I pull on, all just just hungry, like willing to get. It. Got to like say that's how I would describe our team because that's like that's like the foundation of everything. That just helps build up and helps drive us. For sure. Um, you guys had a lot of successful alumni, most notably the John Robinson. How much do you guys look up to a guy like the John that has been very successful after college and sometimes even on the NFL? Plus, you were in that. Yeah, uh, I'm even wearing his number, so it has been a lot. Um, when I first came to South Point, he was a big help to me, trying to get me there and helping me through like the difficulties of things, and I could always talk to him. And, Understand, he helped me understand what was going to happen and what I was going to go through and this and that. So it was a big help from him. And seeing him go on to do bigger and better things, so all the way to the NFL, being posted by ESPN almost every day at this point is really inspiring. Yeah, man, that's dope. And it's just to be able to see a hometown legend. And, you know, that's kind of cool, especially when you got them coming from your actual program and they come back and they give it back. That's really sweet. My question going to be for you back there, man. You're actually the first manager we ever asked questions, so I'm glad that you're here. Hopefully we can change you something like this. But from a student body standpoint and from a management standpoint, how much faith do you got in your team? You know, do you think they can make the open or do you think they're going to you know, compete in the valley? But, uh, oh, so watching like practice and stuff, I do think we have a very good chance. I think that they have been working every day, like working really hard to get to where they want to be and starting the championship and how far they want to go. And I think the team we have right now, they have it. Like, everyone's been showing up. Everyone's been there practicing. Like, they, they want it really bad. Yeah. yeah. So, obviously, you guys being a captain of school, wearing that cross on your logo, why is it important to you guys to keep faith and football? Most importantly, faith and football. Well, I always like to I've always been uh, uh, religious background and uh, I was well, God I you know talking every day and uh, you know it's, it's I wanna say it's a blessing to uh, 
have to cross, you know, from my teachers, from my teachers, or our teachers. And, uh, you know, in some some way, I feel like Texas is more. So, you know, Friday nights, give days, uh, practices, obviously a prayer that we don't get hurt. I like to do here, but to give us that ability to, um, to fight. You know I mean? So, you know, it's, I'd say it's a blessing to have a cross in the world. That's beautiful, bro. Um, well, I guess I would ask you, talk about the importance of having God in schools. You know what I'm saying? Having that type of faith in schools because the adversity is going to be a Well, having God in sports, yes, I think it does a big role, especially for me, because I'm a very religious guy. I got into the Catholic school in my life. And, um, you know, like I said, I talk to him every day, even before games. And even as a team, we all said a team prayer for game, for every meal. So, I mean, it, he's he's in there with us, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And going to the staff school, I mean, it just, it kind of, it kind of put God into our life more. You know what I mean? mm-hmm. So, you know, having him there with us to play football, it just, it, 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 it betters our relationship. Yeah. So, I don't want to think that I'm just trying to say that as far as God and the sports, like, it's all about that. Like, like I said, like, everything is possible to him. So, every, everyone, like, always going through something, going through their first thing, just like, you know, like, you know, you know, you go to the problem, and it's like, just sitting talking about every day. I know when he goes to the problem, he's going to talk to him before he he, you know, if he's got confidence in his, he's going to lean on God. So, it's just like that backbone, that foundation that you need to, to go and go live your purpose for the this point. Because your partner said at this point, so it's just, it's your back on the beam on it. It's a good. You know, I think it's, it's hard because these guys may not even know it because of the, you know, where we're at and what we do at South Point. But I've read the articles, I've seen the information about some of these public schools and some of these, you know, coaches not able to pray before you. And it's like, I look at that and I'm just like, I can't imagine not being able, not, you know, being able to pray with these guys and, you know, have uh, God and just have that faith uh, behind us and, and, and everything that we do every single day. So I feel for those coaches, some of those guys are out there, they're like, oh, why, why are they getting in trouble? Because they're allowing that. Like, I, I don't know, that's just, that's tough. Prop is that for Tebow, the game of me, you know, every game is his name. Oh, yeah, he's Tebow, and like, get down and pray, like, but actually, I think that was something that football needed, especially around that type of time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those playoff runs and things going on, they were special. Mm-hmm. They, they were, those teams were, you know, covered by God's faith and God bless them. So it was pretty cool, man, to see. And it's kind of cool to see, you know, we have the Catholic school to keep that around sports because I think it is needed. And like a lot of said, it's the foundation that everything needs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whenever Trump gets up, that's when you can turn back on. So I, I respect you guys. I, I love that you guys definitely keep that, you know, on. Um, this is another question for Elijah. You come from a very athletic family, brother played running back for Arizona, obviously back to the decision to go there. Um, I also saw that on Twitter that your little sister was going to get the USA track and field championships. Tell me what it means to come from such an athletic family and how you look up to your siblings and your parents. I would just say, like, I guess the best was to. But I think the biggest thing I learned from all my family is like that athleticism is a study of the country. I feel like that. My dad, you know, said that from getting my students like my mother. It's a good point. Playing safety there. But no, but um, uh, you know, but it was just like having to stand for yourself and you know, just striving to keep it. Like whether it hurts you, you control, have to be controlled, so how do you control happens? Like you always hold yourself to that standard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it happen no matter what, and I'm gonna give my best. If that's not enough, then it is what it is. And keeping yourself to that standard, and you always working towards your goal, and not letting anything put you beside that. Just have to stand for yourself and not settle for anything. Like that's something that he always instilled with me and all my students. And it kind of plays to that legacy that he was talking about. You know, not being a real person, not. Doing what everyone does, always being the only person who just keep that standard for yourself, keep the family standard, and just moving towards the goal that you have for yourself. Yes, sir.
was uh, before I got to you, you should have called a red cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see him listening on like the other thing that's going on. Just said, I love us. Let me you go shot, man. Tell the cameras about you, the hard hitting linebacker, man. Just what do we expect from you? What's your goals for the season? And where, you know, where do you want to be? Uh, I got, I got goals. Obviously, the goals to hit the bottom next level, you know. And uh, I just want to, I want to have fun this season. That's, that's what I want to do. Is, like, I want to go make big hits, you know, get the team hype, and all that is like a big part in like, you know, like your, like how the how the team feels, like yeah. you know. You got that one player, you know, just making big hits, you know, like, reach out and like, let's go. Let's, I just want to be that, that person. You spark plug in the DS. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. And get it going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know where the best place to get that going? Kick off. Yeah. 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 You know, you're nervous in your stomach. You're like, I got to get, get this one. I get this out now. I love that. I love that. That was my, that was my role was to get the spark, spark the flames up and get my teammates into it. So I love that. You know, good. You know, conversate with someone like that as well. That's pretty good. I like DJ Tech Home. Uh, well, you, got, you guys are the only Tucson team in 6A. You guys are the only Tucson team in the region. All your road games are in the Valley. And it just seems like everything in the area of the sports world is centered around the Phoenix Valley. Um, what's it like being in Tucson? You kind of always have to make that drive, <clears throat> getting less media attention because you're not a part of the Valley. Well, you know, uh, we talked a little bit about this earlier today. You know, for us, the transportation for our lower levels is the hardest part of it. Uh, but these guys, you know, our varsity group, these older guys, they really embrace the, the going on the road, the travel, uh, not becoming an issue. Uh, we kind of, I mean, listen, you come to Southland because you want the best education. You want to play the best football. Uh, we don't, we're going to go to California this year and play. Uh, we're, you know, we're, we're not... We're not going to back down, we're going to get on the bus, we're going to get off the bus, and we're going to give you everything we got. So, um, but it's, I think we, we've embraced it, we've enjoyed the idea that uh, we get to come up here to Phoenix and play the best of the best up here. So, that's a great challenge, and, and with that comes a great opportunity for us to put our best out there and see what can happen. All the officers there, as far as the school history, we talked to folks who were close uh, before us, and just talking to their, our school and our people. Okay. I mean, the underdog in Charlie is awesome. I mean, yeah, I'd rather hunt to be the hunt it, you know, it takes a little bit less um, pressure off of you, I guess. And so, but, I mean, if you're a real football player, pressure don't mean anything. So I, I understand where you're coming from. That, that's pretty dope. Um, my question would be. Well, I don't really have a question. I guess my thing is, is I've been leaving every team with you know things I take from that house. I wish I could do over, but it sounds like you got that family there. You know what I mean? Everyone else in brotherhood, but y'all got family. You know what I mean? K through twelve almost kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I you know I probably not tell you guys that, but I would just really leave this with you guys. Just really enjoy y'all senior year and really embrace it. You know, really embrace your coaches every moment. Really embrace the games every moment. When it's four quarter, it's tough. Embrace that. You know what I mean? Really rise to the occasion. You know it too, because you're going to feel it in your chest. You know what I mean? That anxiety is crazy when it's four quarter and it's time to go. When you're getting, when you blowing them out and you got to put your JV guys in, cheer those guys on, man. Give those encouragement. Because when he says legacy, that is the legacy. How you let them play is those players. You know what I'm saying? Coaches only do so much. So how do you coach those guys up in every road game of practice and how do you treat them now on a Friday night is going to be a legacy of your leadership and how they, you know, project themselves into their senior year, you know what I mean? So I would really just want to leave you guys with stepping song, man, and really just hone in into the brotherhood and just embracing the fun part, the fun part of football. Especially for you, man. You know, everybody's calling, everybody's getting to you, you know what I mean? Like, well, I got so far, I really enjoy your time, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, I, that's all I got. I'm gonna let my co-hosts is wrap this thing up. But uh, yeah, I really, I really am excited to see South Point football and what Tucson has got uh, for all the yeah, it's, uh, it's great advice. So I appreciate it very, very much. Appreciate you having us here and stuff. Like that. And you, you, you left them with a great message. That, that it was this journey, your senior year, it's gonna be special. And uh, 
we do have a very, very tight family, you know, just from the parents, the kids, coaches. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I cherish it and don't take it for granted. I promise you that. So uh, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I'm the same age as you guys, so I'm listening to everything you've been saying all day. But, um, I mean, on the football side of things, like, I'm really excited to watch this team this season. I think you guys are going to uh, be a, a South Point team that we haven't seen in two or three years. I still going to make that good run, especially with Logic coming in, um, really being uh, that, that, that firepower out there. He's going to be excited to watch. It wasn't just chill. My dog, DJ, and We thank our sponsors. We thank the South Point. South Point. Lancers. Lancers yep. coming up here. Don't want to butcher the name. Yep. And uh, with that being said, this is the Big Dog Podcast. We appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. All right.